I came all the way up here because at the station, the guys were saying you are like one of the next rising stars. Uh, so, uh, well, you know, uh, I don't give them a rising star. You know, I just do what I do and just keep fighting, keep training, and give out great performance that I can to the, for the fans. So, uh, if they feel that my performance is doing great, then I guess I'm the next rising star. That's what I hear. They said you better get them now. Uh -huh. Now, both of your styles are somewhat alike. Do you, do you want to like elaborate a little bit for our audience? Well, you know, his, his style is similar as mine. We're both straightforward guys. We come out to to the, we just come out banging and we fight, you know, we'll see who can last. Uh, we're going to see who's going to, who has the most power and who could take the punch better. That's what it's going to come down to if it, if it happens, who could take the punch better. Now, are you going to be moving up in weight to 140? Pretty soon I'm going to be moving up. I think maybe this might be my last fight at 135. He should have waited to challenge to win the title after this fight, not right now, not especially right now because right now I'm I'm feeling so great. My conditioning, my preparation has been very good for this fight. So he should have waited to challenge for WA when I when I vacated. Do you think you'll get a shot at somebody like Amir Khan or Tim Bradley or anyone, or or, or do you think they'll be moving up and wait? Or who who are you targeting at 140? At 140 right now, I'm targeting Madonna and uh, Marquez, one of those two guys. You know, hopefully my manager can make it. Go back to the char the boards after this fight. You know, first we gotta get handle John Murray and get to him first, and then if it happens, I'll let my manager do his job. Okay. Hey, you wanna say shout out to your fans there? I just wanna say to everybody in New York, thank you guys for having me here. Love you. First time in the Big Apple. My Puerto Rican fans, my Mexican fans, love you guys. Everybody around the world, my Mexican fans, love you guys. Thank you. Hey, are we being good to you here in New York? You've been great to me in New York. Yeah, yesterday I was at the trees, man. It's just too crazy for me. It's too crazy, too cold. I'm used to the nice weather. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Brandon Rios, uh, you know, has come uh, on the scene now where he is recognized as one of the most exciting fighters uh, in the world. Every Brandon Rios fight has excitement. Uh, his ratings uh, on television are through the roof. Uh, People want to see fighters. People don't want to see a lot of movement and a lot of uh, posturing. They want to see guys who come out and fight. And, may, and Brandon Rios epitomizes that type of fighter. He's the champion now, but he's the same kind of happy-go-lucky young man he always was. It's a pleasure, it's really been a great pleasure and a thrill for us to have promoted him, to promote him. Uh, please welcome the lightweight champion of the world, Brandon Rios. <laughs> How's it going everybody? I'm glad to be in New York for the first time. Man, it's been a blessing. All these years I've been training uh, the way I was going at first. I was going downhill, but now I came back up, ready to the top. Now I'm ready for the greatness. Uh, John Murray and them said they had me on the radar for a long time. They don't have me no more. I'm right here, baby. I'm right in front of you. So I ain't going nowhere, and you ain't going nowhere. So that ring is going to be mine and yours. Twelve rounds. If you if you try to if you don't come prepared, honestly, it's a good it's an early night for you. You come prepared. It's going to be an early night for you, too. Uh, I'm ready 100%, and I'm just going to show this guy why I'm the best at 135, why I'm number one, and that there's nobody out there at 135 that can give me a challenge. And this guy think I'm overlooking him and everything? Fuck that. He don't know what the fuck is going on in my brain. He's not in my head, so he don't know what's going on. So if you think I'm underestimating him and everything, be ready then. December 3rd. Saturday night, your ass is going down. Your Puerto Rican fans, Mexican fans, they're going to be on my side. You're in my town. And there's no hell, there's no way in hell I'm going to let you take my belt back home. That shit's staying here with me. I earn it, it's mine, baby. So it ain't going over. So be ready. Hopefully your team's ready, because I'm ready. <laughs>